It's Friday, so that of course means it's time for a check on what's in theaters this weekend, and there are a few good ones out there. Let's bring in Grace Randolph. She is with Beyond the Trailer to give us her take on a couple of these uh, movies. Uh, Grace, and we're talking about, let's see, the first one is The Wolves of Wall Street, which the our Wolf own friend Wolf of Wall Ali Street. I saw that Wolf last night. You yeah, curious to hear your take on this, Grace. Were you surprised at the amount of nude, graphic nudity in the film? I was, and I also felt it was a three-hour movie. I felt like it yeah. dragged on. Mm, no, it's written by Terrence Winter, who is an HBO staple. He worked in The Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire is his show. And I totally agree. It feels very episodic instead of, uh, you know, a strong story with a character arc. And what's been the feedback on this? What have the critics said? Uh, the critics, you know, largely the critics have really embraced it, but I think that might have been a case of, hey, it's Scorsese DiCaprio. But audiences are not happy with it. Got a, C, got a C cinema score, and there's a lot of talk about people across the country walking out of the theater because of the graphic nature of the film, and it drops significantly from Wednesday to Thursday at the box office. Well, it's a interesting. Lot a lot of people in the theater I was in walked out as well, because, and I heard them, they were shocked by all the graphic uh, nudity and everything that was going on, and a lot of people walking out saying it could have been an hour shorter. Yeah, a lot of people yes. are talking about the length of it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, you're talking about The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is a Ben Stiller flick, and uh, this is based on a James Thurber novel of about, what, 70 or 80 years ago or so. Tell us about this. Well, it's interesting. The story keeps evolving. It's so great. And this is produced by uh, Samuel Goldwyn Jr. His father produced the first uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty film with Danny Kaye. Uh, this film really ad uh, evolves the story for a more modern audience. And it also is a little bit about, you know, our life going from uh, magazine or print to digital. And how is the acting in this movie? And, of course, Wolf of Wall Street. Which one would you say is more stellar acting? Uh, I think... You know, aside from the nudity in Wolf of Wall Street, I just, um, I don't think personally it's a very deep film. That It's not a good story even besides that. Uh, Walter Mitty, it's not as epic as I think it would like to be, but it's enjoyable, and it's certainly a very beautiful film to look at. So if you had to pick between the two, it sounds to me like you like the Walter Mitty flick Yes, I, I would see that. Or if you can find it in the theater, Saving Mr. Banks, my favorite film of the year. Oh, oh okay. that's a good one. I wanted to see that one. There's so many good movies out there now to check out. Sounds like either one of them would save you a bunch of time over Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. <laughs> yes. Might be a few hours uh, longer than that one, or longer than it needs to be. You could see, you could see both, and you'd still be uh, equal. <laughs> you still have yeah, some time true. to spare, so is that right? sad, but true. All right. Thank Grace you Randolph so much, Grace. Have a great Bye. day Friday. Thank you so much.